Modula stulo wa mukhawa se politiki wa economic freedom fighter se Lin Julius Malema u bila le tema ya dipisa no le maloko a mecha ya ditaba se betsong ene nge tswaro se sentin thapa menyaka jeno tema ena e petwe molumong wa ho tshohla ha ba dzika kiteko ya le motsele shometsa thao ya mogha e sitana le maima a una ha e le baneng le ona tema ena ke karolo ya kopano le kiteko ya le motsele shometsa botsitso ba mogha e tlong ho tshwarela mabaleng a dipapadi ya FNB motlhagodi ya godimo e tla beng hlala matsatsi ya mashwa mabedi a metsorobong the EFF Commander-in-Chief Julius Malema discusses the party's history over the course of its first 10 years in an open discussion with JJ Dabani editors and journalists from different media outlets. This meeting's goal is to have an open discussion about various national issues with the EFF's president. We're dealing with um, a problem of ageism. Mm. Remember when we formed the EFF, we were, told, we were called boys. Mm. and girls even when we're married with kids they were just <laughs> referring to us as boys yeah. so we have a problem of ageism but we also have a problem of egoism who's doing it um, um, and we also have a problem of tribalism um, uh, so uh, we are a country characterized by those types of uh, irritations if one may say so and um, it will take a long time for people to come to accept that uh, there is a, an alternative. The president of the Economic Freedom Fighters had a chance to address any underlying issues that the public, especially journalists, may have in regard to the policies, manifestos and different stances of the EFF. The EFF would like to work with opposition parties mm. to remove the corrupt ANC from power but also to give the people of South Africa something different. But we cannot impose ourselves on the opposition parties. Mm. If they don't want us, we'll work with those who want to work with us. Uh, and therefore, but our preferred choice will be that the opposition parties should come together mm. to unseat the ANC. The party also adds that they did this initiative so that the public knows that they are available to engage anyone and that they believe in transparency. For Soweto TV News, I am Zweli Banzi Mazibugo.